welcome to Kisumu County, Kisumu East Sub County, Nyalenda A Ward, where we are meeting this amazing youth group, the Victoria Aquaculture Group. This group are really doing a very, very innovative fish farming method. Their method of farming is called the recirculating aquaculture system. They are using only this space to increase their production. They are producing fingerlings here and selling to the community. Stay tuned and learn more on how these youths are making real impact within the environment. Okay, my name is Gilbert Omondi, once more. And uh, I'd love to introduce you to sustainable aquaculture through the use of modern technology, which is the recirculating aquaculture system. So under this recirculating aquaculture system, we have uh, four sections. One is the broodstock section that we are yet to enter. And we have an egg incubation section. We have uh, a nursery section and uh, hardening section which forms the last part. Recirculating aquaculture system is the most modern and economically friendly in terms of water use, space with high productivity. It encompasses the use of filtering the same water and reusing it further and less water is being rendered to waste. So kindly let us begin from the inside as we proceed. So we are in a greenhouse, as especially in this RAS system, we do tilapia seed production. So one of the key parameters for producing seeds for fish, we ensure that temperature is a prime factor. And we are blessed within West Kenya region, especially in Kisumu, to have warmer temperatures. Tilapia is more productive in temperatures ranging between 25 to 30. So the reason why we, were, uh, we have a greenhouse to house this rust system is to ensure that we have an average temperature throughout the production season. So inside here we have six tanks. They are octagonal in shape with a capacity of 3,000 liters each. All of the fish tanks are, have uh, fish, all the brooders inside, and we have covered them with the shade net to minimize light penetration, because light penetration controls algal growth, as this water is rich in nutrients, both from feed remains and fecal waste from the fish. So when we cover the leads of the tanks, we minimize light penetration that hinders growth of algae. Algae is a primary feed for tilapia because tilapia feeds on more of plant protein. So excess of it is, will be more dangerous, especially for such kind of facility because they need to rely on a complete commercial feed. However, with water quality, some algae has to be there and algae during the day, it facilitates addition of oxygen as a process of photosynthesis, which oxygen become a byproduct of photosynthesis. So we have our water saturated with oxygen, fish healthy, and they feed from algae at the same time. So from this system, it is set in a design that all the water lives via gravity, and water gets in via gravity to control or to reduce power consumption. It is one of the green economy farming that focuses more on green energy. We use solar panels to produce power and power from the Kenya Power and Lighting Company to supplement the solar system that is used to run here. It is a power intensive system that with automated machines that run 24 hours a day. So power consumption is a prime factor that was hard to be considered. So in this, we adopted solar energy and there was a biogas energy to promote green farming and reduce the lot of gases that are being released to the atmosphere 
that leads to global warming or destruction of ozone layer. So with such kind of facility, production of quality seeds is ensured and high productivity with minimal space that is being utilized. But results are very high. So we reach out to most farmers that this facility can be customized to fit and we adapt with this kind of farming in order to save our environment for the future generation and for we ourselves to meet our needs for today. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more information. Please share with your networks. And thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode.